Do blind people visually see anything when they're dreaming? Is it pitch black or something else? I thought I knew the answers to those questions, but studies now show that the parts of the brain responsible for vision are active as blind people dream, even if they've been blind since birth. Let's break down those studies, two main different types of blindness, and how those different types see differently whether they're awake or asleep. And as a bonus, we'll talk about why blind people have way more nightmares than sighted people. When I dream, or when most sighted people dream, it's mainly through imagining that we see something. So it's hard to imagine what a dream would be like for somebody who's blind. It's important to note that not all blindness is the same. You may have been able to see at one point, but then you lost your vision because of degenerative eye conditions or maybe an eye injury, or people could have been blind since birth, which is called congenital blindness. Dreams and vision overall are very different for those two groups. Let's start with the people who became blind later in life, which is known as acquired blindness. At one point, they had a working connection between their eyes and their brain, but they lost it. When they're awake, what they see depends on how long they've been blind and what made them blind. A lot of people think that blind individuals see pitch black, as if we just shut our eyes. This is almost always not the case, unless their optic nerves or their visual cortex in their brain are completely non-functional. And this small group of people who lost their vision entirely mainly describe their visual experience as nothingness rather than blackness, as blackness can still imply a visual thing that you can see. You can picture what blackness looks like. To try and understand what nothingness means, imagine what you see right behind you. I don't see in front of me and then there's black that I perceive behind me. There's just nothing. I don't have a visual signal of what's behind me. So that's the nothingness that we're referring to. There just isn't a visual signal going to your brain. The majority of people with acquired blindness still see something. They can often still perceive light, shadows, or vague shapes, depending on their condition. For example, here's what some different eye conditions that can cause blindness would look like if you had it. They can just make your vision so bad that you're considered legally blind. Something called Charles Bonnet syndrome also causes people with acquired blindness to hallucinate glows or flashes of light. Those light hallucinations may coordinate with what their other senses are picking up like hearing, touch, and smell. Now before talking about what people with acquired blindness see in their dreams, let's talk about what people with congenital blindness, people who were born blind, see when they're awake. Again, this group has never had a working connection between their eyes and their brain. Just like that small group of people with acquired blindness who completely lost their vision, they would perceive more of nothingness rather than blackness. I know it may be hard to really understand the difference between those two things again. For me, the idea of darkness or blackness is defined as the absence of light. So it's a contrast to that, like when I'm looking at something and then close my eyes. But for somebody fully blind since birth, they don't have light perception to contrast with darkness. Like I said before, imagine what you see behind you. It's nothing, not black. All right, now we understand what the two main groups, acquired blindness and congenital blindness, see when they're awake. Let's talk about what they see when they dream. For those with acquired blindness, they used to be able to see. Their brain has experienced past visual stimuli, so can draw from that to recreate visual scenes as they dream, even if their vision has degraded to the point where they can't see clearly during the day anymore. Depending on how long somebody has been blind, that vision in their dreams could start to fade as they just remember less and less of what it was like to see clearly. But MRI scans have shown that people with acquired blindness have the visual sections of their brain active as they're dreaming. They can also experience Charles Bonnet syndrome as they sleep, seeing glows or flashes of light. I clearly can't directly relate to their experiences since I'm still lucky enough to have functioning vision, but I would imagine that it would be really hard to not be able to see during the day because you have acquired blindness, then be able to see at night in your dreams just to have to wake up and not be able to see anymore. So a lot of sympathy for people who experience that. But now let's get to the really interesting stuff and talk about the dreams of congenitally blind people and those studies I referenced at the very beginning of this video. I used to assume that congenitally blind people would just dream in their other senses, hearing, smell, touch, while still seeing nothing like they do when they're awake. 
Their dreams definitely do place a larger emphasis on those non-visual senses than the dreams of sighted people, but studies as far back as 2003, and more recent ones, show that the same brain areas responsible for visual processing are active during REM sleep in congenitally blind people. MRI scans suggest that these brain areas might create abstract or non-traditional forms of visual imagery. This supports the idea that the brain can simulate visual experiences even in the absence of actual signal going from your eyes to your brain. But they wouldn't visualize full scenes like an apple or a house because they don't have the visual context of seeing those things in real life. It's very likely more like Charles Bonnet syndrome with glows, flashes, and other abstract patterns. There's even more to this though. Let's talk about how the dreams of congenitally blind people compare to the dreams of unborn fetuses who have never really opened their eyes in the real world. Prenatal studies of fetal brain activity do show that the visual cortex of a fetus is active as they're dreaming in the womb, potentially priming the fetus for visual experiences once they're born and actually go through life. Congenitally blind people may tap into some form of the same capability to create those abstract visuals as they dream outside of any actual signal coming in from their eyes to their brain or even a recorded memory of doing that. One part of the studies that was the hardest thing for me to wrap my brain around personally was how when the researchers then ask the blind people, what do you see in your dream? Do you visually see anything? They would say that they don't. And the researchers across multiple studies are arguing that they don't have the context of visually seeing something as they're awake. So they don't really have the words to compare that experience to what they're experiencing in their dream. These abstract visual images are just something different happening as they dream that is unrelated from their normal waking life. At the beginning of this video, I mentioned that blind people unfortunately experience a lot more nightmares than sighted people. A 2014 Danish study showed that blind people experience up to four times more nightmares. The authors suggest that blind people are more likely to encounter dangerous scenarios in their normal everyday life, like getting lost or falling. And these stressful events may be mirrored in their nightmares. When we see something, three things are happening. One, our eyes detect light from the real world on our retinas on the back of our eyes. Two, that light signal is then converted to an electrical signal, which our optic nerve sends to our brain. And three, our brains interpret that electrical signal to understand what we're seeing. Any of those three steps being messed up can make us blind. When we're dreaming, only the third out of those three steps is actually happening. Our brains fire in ways that draw on our visual memories, making us think that we're seeing something. It seems that the same process happens in the brains of blind people, even if they've been blind since birth. This may open up other weird existential questions like the subjective nature of what we see in the first place. All studies and other references I use for making this video are linked in the description below. If there's another eye-related topic you'd like me to dive into, please leave a comment and I'll make a follow-up video. Thanks.